wanted to see how you going to install the Flutter SDK for your application development in Android Studio. In order to first install the uh, SDK, you have to navigate to the official Flutter site. I have dropped the link in the description below. You can go there to find the Windows install files uh, in the Flutter doc. When you navigate down, you can see that there is a zip file that you have to download. You go here, download the zip file. Pause the video, wait for the download to happen and then continue. Alright, so once you have the zip file downloaded, it is time to see what are the two tools that you will be needing for Windows. One is PowerShell and uh, another is Git for Windows. You will have PowerShell pre-installed with Windows. You can check if it is so by going and typing PowerShell here. So I have the PowerShell uh, installed in Windows so I, I do not have to do anything about it. Next is uh, to install Git. I'll provide the link in the description below. You can go in and download depending upon your configuration, either it is 32 bit or 64 bit. So, this is the Git version page where you can download the Git depending upon your versions. Uh, the recommended version is always 64 bit because the Flutter team does, hasn't given any support as of now for a 32 bit Windows. So, in case you have a 32 bit Windows running, then I'm very sorry to say that you cannot use Flutter in your system. So go ahead and download the 64-bit, install it in your system and then continue watching this video. Alright, so both the downloads are done from my side. Uh, it is time to go ahead and install it. I have also installed it in my system. You can see it here. So yeah, both the Git uh, GUI is present in as, a, as a, uh, going to be using this in, your, in our Flutter install. It is time to now go and see how you can set the environment variable, which is another important thing. So what you do is go here, computer, right click properties. You can find change settings here. So in under change settings, it is advanced environment variables and it is time to set the environment variables for our uh, user variable. Uh, what, what are the required environment variables are? The source, folder and the flutter package is inside it go to this package find the bin folder double click and copy this path this path you can change it under here so this is i've already put this file put this path here so the process is done now when you run flutter doctor in a terminal the shortcut is windows r you can find command and you will be running flutter doctor so once you do that it will show you all the deprecated or missing dependencies in your system great job so far the flutter is now inside your system officially you can go now open the android studio which is going to be your ide to know more about installing android studio fly find the description uh, for all the information required there is a blog post that I required in the official site of Android Monks where you can find how you can install Android Studio for both Mac and, and Windows. Alright, my Android Studio is up and running right now. Uh, it took some time to launch because it's been ages since I last used Windows system to develop Android applications. I have moved to Mac because it gives me much more control over uh, building iPhone, uh, iOS apps as well. It is time to install the Flutter plugin in our uh, Android Studio environment. How you can do that is go through File, Settings, and find the Plugins option here. You go in and type Flutter. Go and search the repository. You'll flood, find the Flutter plugin which has got some hundred thousand less than one million downloads as of now. Install this. So what uh, here we see is, is it's a Dart framework. Dart is a programming language over which the Flutter SDK is built upon. So it is going to install the Dart and also the Flutter. It requests a restart. You give the restart. It takes some time to go back and come in. We wait for that. My Android Studio has restarted and it is time to now go create a first Flutter project. How you can do that is go through Files, Find New. And now you see an option called New Flutter Project here. Click that and it opens up to like a normal project that you usually do in Android Studio. It asks for three things. You go through Flutter application. You give it a name, which is uh, you have to follow the Dart convention of giving 
lower case and under underscore separated words so i'm going to give it as footer application yes that is right this is where my sdk is present and yeah i'm going to keep it in c itself yeah it says the uh, it cannot be root system so i'm going to name it to something called d yeah d should be fine it says it cannot be there in the root system so i'm going to name it in and there's something called uh, I want to put it inside source itself, so let me put it inside source. And it's time to go now and see. Yeah, this is where you give your uh, reverse naming convention. I'm going to give it as Android monks. And yeah, finish. It is this is the final default uh, package that is going to open up with a, a pre-built uh, app application to be run. Uh, you, as you can see, that nine dot file is where the uh, entire uh, ui structure and activity and all of this is going to be present uh, as also there is two important folders that are generated one is for android one is for ios and when you compile and run the main dot file it is going to generate the ios and android folders for the respective uh, device os's and it is going to run the application in that all right so that is it uh, for this video uh, as you can see this is a very simple sample video to show you how you can set up the flutter environment for windows uh, however, the video series will go on to make and develop applications using Mac only. You can follow similar steps in Emir Windows environment. Uh, there, there won't be any big difference except for the fact that uh, Mac will support iOS simulator as well. That's it from me. You can find out what I'm doing with Android Monks in the description below. Do not forget to follow me on Facebook and Twitter.